All right, hey everyone, for this next pro tip, this is a one-star data viz tip. I'm gonna talk about preventing charts from moving or sizing. Now in Excel, by default, a chart or an object that you add to a worksheet is allowed to move or size with the underlying cells. That means it's gonna stretch or shift as those underlying rows or columns get adjusted or resized. In other words, it's like the chart is kind of attached to the underlying grid. Now you can customize this behavior using the format chart area options under the properties section. So in this case, we're gonna look at a chart like this. This is a Pareto chart type of histogram. And if you right click kind of right on the edge of that chart, you're gonna be able to access the format chart area options that look like this. And in the third little section there, the size and property section, you'll see three different options for properties. The first one is your default, it's move and size with cells. And again, that allows those charts or those objects to move and stretch. The second option, move but don't size, essentially allows the charts to move horizontally or vertically, but not actually stretch or distort. And then finally, don't move or size, exactly like you'd expect. It just fixes that chart position in place, regardless of how any of the cells in that worksheet are adjusted. So I like to think about that option as kind of disconnecting the chart from the underlying grid. A couple of common use cases here. Uh, for one, you might want to lock in your chart positions if you're building uh, user-facing reports or dashboards to prevent them from getting distorted. Uh, second, allowing charts to move but not stretch out when rows are filtered or sorted. So let's hop into Excel. I'll show you what this looks like. All right, so from our pro tip workbook, we're gonna look for your yellow visualization tip demos here, and specifically the chart properties move and size demo. Go ahead and click that link button to jump out to the yellow tab. And what we have here is a bunch of data about wine. Got wine names, column B, we have country of origin, column A, and then average point rating in column C, and the average price in column D. If I scroll down, I believe we have about 5,600 observations or rows in this sample. And what we're doing is visualizing that data, these price values specifically, using something called a Pareto chart. It's a variation of a histogram that essentially shows us the frequency or the number of wines that fall into given price ranges or buckets. And basically what the Pareto does is it sorts those buckets or bins descending by frequency and adds this cumulative total line as well. Now what I want to take a look at are the size and property options here. So I'm going to right click kind of near the edge of the chart, navigate to my format chart area options, and head to this third bucket here, size and properties. And these are the three options that we're interested in. Uh, number one, move and size with cells. That's the one that's typically activated by default. And what that means is that if we make changes to the underlying grid, we can see that that chart will move left or right or up or down or stretch if we impact actual underlying cells, just like so. So in other words, this object, this chart is pretty much tied to the underlying grid. If we wanted to manipulate or filter you know, our source data here, like maybe look at just wines from Austria and press OK, that chart disappears because it was tied to the rows in which it lived, and now those rows are hidden. So we can go ahead and clear that filter to get our chart back, and watch this. Let's change some of these properties, go back into those options. Let's try the second option, move but don't size. Now, any change that's made outside of the range of the chart that will force it to move will still have an impact, like so, but changes to underlying cells won't make that chart distort like they did before. And then one more time, going back into those options, our third choice here is the right bet if we don't want this chart to ever move, no matter what kind of workbook change the user makes. That way, it still won't distort, right, as we drag these underlying cells, and it also won't move at all. So it's essentially just disconnected from the underlying grid. And in a case like this, where we may wanna filter the source data and hide rows, maybe we only wanna look at French wines, for instance, now we can compare different visualizations based on those different filter settings without worrying about our chart disappearing or distorting. So let's go ahead and unfilter that. 
And there you have it, using the size and property options to prevent charts from moving with cells.